Hi, this is Richard Quack here, coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is the missing secret to the secret. Now, I'm sure most of you will have heard about the secret. All right, unless you are hiding under the rock somewhere, most of you will have heard about the secret. Now, the secret came out in 2006. It's about 16 years now. Time really flies, all right? And it was created by Rhonda Byrne from Australia. From Australia, all right? She was in a lot of uh, financial difficulties and, uh, you know, had a lot of problem uh, physically and also uh, mentally and so on. So at the end of the day, she received a book, I think from the daughter, all right, the name of the book is The Science of Getting Rich. It was authored by Wallace Wattle in the year 1910, many, many years ago. All right, and she read the book. And because of reading the book, she implemented what she read from the book. And that's how she became very, very successful. All right, because of the book, The Science of Getting Rich. So The Secret is a movie and also the book all right, which she created and it made her into an overnight success. Okay, now the book and the video came out in the year, in the year 2006. All right, now more than 200 million people view the video. All right, but do you realize that even though the materials are all very good, but not many become successful, not many become successful because there are certain things. Uh, that is needed to make it a success, okay? And also the book, she came out with a book and many other books later on, all right? The book, The Secret, sold more than 35 million copies. So 30, more than 35 million copies, all right? So basically it was really a big, big success. Now let's talk about what is The Secret all about, okay? What is The Secret all about? The Secret is based on the law of attraction. The law of attraction is one of the universal law outside there, all right? And what it talks about is, you know, you attract what you focus on, okay? You become what you think about most of the time. And basically, what it mentioned in the secret is that you need to visualize what you want and you got to have feeling to go with it as well, okay? Now... It is sad to say that, you know, a lot of people outside there think that this is new age. This is hockey pokey. Okay, the truth is that a lot of people can have their own opinion, which I am sure, you know, uh, uh, nothing wrong with that. But the thing is that when people say it's new age, it's hockey pokey, what I would like to say is this. All right. Now, this is actually the law of cause and effect. Well, the law of cause and effect is not hockey pokey. All right, it is not something that new age has been around for many, many centuries. In fact, you know, the law of cause and effect, that means for every cause, there is an effect. Okay, so the other thing is that it is based on the law of sowing and reaping. You will sow what you reap. So basically, the law of attraction is actually, you know, universal law. It is not something that's hokey pokey. Mom. That is my opinion. Of course, you may disagree with it, but my opinion is that it is based on universal law, all right? And, and all this law, cause and uh, effect and law of sowing and reaping is something that is unquestionable, all right? It had existed since, you know, centuries ago, all right? Now, the thing is that I want to mention here is that why it did not work for a lot of people, all right? Although the law of attraction actually works, but it does not work for a lot of people because there are certain ingredients that are uh, missing from there, okay? Now, it does not work because of all programming. You see, we have been conditioned throughout our life, all right? Throughout our life, we have been conditioned. We have been programmed in such a way that, you know, uh, most of us are negative and we have a lot of bugs and viruses with us, all right? We have a lot of bugs and viruses with us. Now, if you have got a computer, all right, that is affected by viruses, all right, 
Now, whatever program that you install on the computer, it will not work. It's only true, it will not work. The only way it will work if you clean up the computer by using antivirus software to clear out all the viruses, then when the computer is clean, only when you put any good program, it will work. So most of us, our program, you know, is just like a computer, is already full of viruses because of all the old programming that we have been brought up with. All right, so that's why it does not work for a lot of people. Okay, now, a lot of people also view the secret and write the book the secret but the thing is that what is the most important ingredient is that you must take action a lot of people visualize put feelings into it but if you don't take action nothing is going to happen nothing is going to happen in fact the book the science of getting rich by wallace walker is state this clearly it states this by your thoughts you attract things into your life but by your action you will receive it so you will only receive by taking action by your thoughts you are attracting it into your life no doubt about that all right but you will receive only by taking action okay now the other thing that is important is that you must put emotion into it elevated emotion into your thought all right when you talk about elevated emotion it has to be emotion of gratitude gratitude is very important all right, what is gratitude? Okay, it's a state of being grateful for certain things. Okay, it's the ultimate state of receivership. What it means is that, you know, when you show gratitude, you're attracting things into your life because by having gratitude, it means that you have already received it. That is why you're grateful. All right, and not only gratitude, but other positive emotion as well. You got to add other positive emotion like, uh, uh, you know, like uh, excitement, all right, uh, the feeling of abundance, okay, feeling bliss and so on. So basically, it must be, uh, you know, it must be uh, together with elevated emotion. Just your thought itself, visualization will not work. It must be together with elevated emotion, especially gratitude, okay. And lastly, I believe that, you know, when you do something you visualize or you think about it you must be in the present moment that means you must pay attention to it your mind must not drift anywhere else it must be focused on that present moment are you mean that's very very important all right now the thing is that you know uh, uh, a lot of people mean sit down and then visualize about things all right they might visualize and so on but the thing is that if you don't put emotion into it it will not happen all right it's so important that you realize that okay the the secret does work because the law of attraction is the universal law all right it will 100 percent work the only thing it does not work for a lot of people is that they are using it wrongly you see the law of attraction states that you know what you think about you will bring about okay now the question i ask you is that what does people think most about most of the time? They might think about the desire, the dream about success. All right. Maybe about 10 minutes, that's about it. All right. But what happened to the rest of the day? Rest of the day, be thinking about what they do not want, all the challenges, all the problems, you know, and so on. So the thing is that what you think about, you bring about. So it, you got to really focus, all right, the whole day on what you want okay the mistake that most people do is that they only spend a few minutes only on what they want focusing on what they want after that they start focusing on what they do not want they complain they talk about all the negative things about the challenges about the obstacles and so on. no wonder you attract what you think about most of the time the law of attraction works 100 percent only thing you're attracting the wrong thing because you think about the wrong thing all right so i hope that you, you you benefit from what i'm sharing here okay the missing secret of the secret let me summarize for you all right the secret was created by ronda Byrne from australia in the year 2006 which is about 16 years ago all right it is from the book 
The Science of Getting Rich. I would advise you, if you have not read it, go and read the book, The Science of Getting Rich. It is just a little book, you know. You can finish it in one sitting. That's about it. All right. Uh, there are a lot of uh, e-books outside there, especially on YouTube. You can check it out. Okay. Uh, you know, the thing is that uh, the secret is based on the law of attraction. Okay, and it works. The only problem is that people do it wrongly. Now, is it new age? A lot of people say that it's new age. It is hokey pokey. But the, to my opinion, the law of attraction is based on the law of cause and effect and on the law of sowing and reaping, which is natural law. Okay, there's nothing wrong or hokey pokey about it. It has been around for centuries. Okay. Now, it did not work for a lot of people because of the old programming that people have and because people do not take action. Action is very important, okay? And, you know, uh, uh, you must also put into it elevated emotion. That is very important. And live in the present moment, okay? So that's all my sharing for today. I hope that you learned something. This is a very important session. If you want to change your life, then you must understand that the law of attraction really, really works. The only thing is that, are you doing it correctly? Okay? So, uh, I thank you for your time that you spent with me here. I appreciate you. And, uh, you know, I will see you again next week. Not next week, sorry. On Friday for another session of my uh, live video. And this is Richard Quack here, wishing you good night and goodbye.